Hey guys, this is What If here, and I'm sorry for the delay, but I'm back. And welcome to. NASCAR 15 for race 14 to 36. Today we're racing at Pocono for the Exalta 400. Let's check the point standings where we were last race. I have the points lead by a, a megaton. Not the director, but a, a big number. Um, there's the top 18. Um, the Pocono one is going to be a little bit special because it's my hometown track. And I'm going to make that one 16 laps because 8 laps is far too short. So, so since it's because it's a special race, we're going to bump it up. And I'm going to do the same to Watkins Glen too because... I, I technically live like two and a half hours away. It's not even really my hometown track, so I can't say that. Because I know there'll be some people be on the, uh, like somebody who will be like, well, they, you, you don't live there. You did, 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 technically, your fucking track. So, <laughs> so I can't say that, but I know it's not. So, here we go. 16 laps, 100% difficulty. One times where, one times we go, cars are not damageable. Same format as every race. We're going to go to uh, race and put in our custom setup and then race. Just to be safe, um, as you can tell, I'm a Gorn hat because he did a great job at the brickyard. Getting wrecked because the Kashi came off for a balloon. It, good story to tell your kids someday. So there you go. Put in my setup for Pocono. Now we're going to see the intro and see where everybody stacks up. Can't wait. Um, I'm really hoping nothing bad happens to me. I really don't want to get wrecked again. I actually haven't got wrecked at all this year. I've been close, but I haven't legit spawned. Okay, those are our people in the back. I was like, Ty Dillon's on the fucking pole. But it's not. I was wrong. So, and you see I have new DLC paint schemes. Brackets Lossky first, Dale Jr. second. Martin Trix third. And, ooh, Tony Stewart fourth. Again, I did get the new paint scheme, so. Looks alright. Looks nice. You got the Exalta Trophy, you got the nice flyover, and people are just like, they're just in, in, in midair. That's not the Exalta Trophy, that's the Go Bowling 400. So we got a little bit of a translation error here. The titles are a little bit different. So, uh, alright, uh, let's get this started. Get ready. And... Go, green flags out here. Pocono, we're underway for 16 laps. Let's see what I can do. And let's hope Dale Earnhardt Jr. can win this race. Or at least finish well. Or be leading. That can help too. So, I know in turn one, they do get really bunched. So, I'm praying that doesn't happen. I'm just going to try to be on the bottom, just in case. Um, again, I, I would advise to run the outside line, but it's just it's not going to work. Yeah, I... It's one of those tracks where it's, I don't even know if I've addressed it, but it's really hard to kind of pinpoint where to go, what lane to really pick, because they're all over the place. Like, they could wreck right now. Nope, no, they didn't. Okay. So I'm really just going to try to take my time, not try to get in a wreck or be involved in one if I can try. And it's kind of hard when they're all brake checking and stuff. So Annette hit the wall, stop. He's way back. I'm going to gain at least two spots, and one of them was because somebody wrecked. <laughs> So, all right. So, just gonna try to continue to hold the bottom in turn one a little bit. Not really having the proper entry I want. I'm like on the bottom, trying to stay on the bottom while being on the bottom. So, just gonna try to go. Okay, okay, let's do this. Okay, four wide. Okay, okay. All right. My conscience was like, okay, what if that's a bad idea? So I'm glad I, I changed my mind. Somebody's in the wall up there. They're bouncing off each other. Three wide. They're bouncing off each other. And I'm not even doing Larry Mack voice. It's because he didn't expect it, right? So, so let's see. Menard's right there. King, Casey King got back the got the lead from Junior, and now it's to Larson. What a weird race. Actually, the funny thing is, um, I'm, as of this recording, um, I, my friend got free tickets to Pocono. He got four free tickets. For section 300, it's like one section below the broadcasting booth and free hit passes. And I did not touch Bernard, okay? That, that was not me. So it's an incredible deal. So my friend invited me to go and everything. 
it was like a sweepstakes on like Facebook, and he just entered his, like his name, and they it was like a random draw, and he ended up winning, and it was legit and everything too, like it wasn't bullshit. So that's even like more insane. Like I thought it would be like I, at first I was like this is really cool, but I was hoping in the back of my mind I was like please don't let it be like a scam or something, but it wasn't. So that's pretty freaking cool. So. Like you, like I said, I'm just trying to take my time. Brad Kozlowski now take the, took the lead. There's more lead changes here in the first four laps, and they actually really like Pocono Rings. That's pretty cool. <laughs> so I'm just hoping that they can all get spread out here a little bit so I can gain some positions. Because I really don't want Gilland either to stop. He was kind of like, he was thinking about it. I, I can see it. In, I can see it in his eyes. He, he was like, he was thinking about slowing down, but I don't advise that. So I'm just going to try to take the outside going in the tunnel turn, even though it's not quite the preferred line. Slam, I obviously slammed on the brakes and, sl or, and slammed on the gas in a turn. It's not really realistic, but whatever. Um, I'm going to go three wide into turn three. Larson now has the lead. This race is really, I don't really know who's going to win. It's not, it's not a clean, like it just keeps swapping. So I gained about three spots last lap. We're doing pretty good. It's just... I'm not gaining a whole lot of spots. They're just so jammed up here. I'm afraid of what's going to happen. That's why I'm taking this like ridiculous outside line. And yep, they're all bounce. They're all sliding up the track. I got sideways a wee bit. Ooh, oh shit! There's a legit caution. What the hell? Somebody in last place for or 41st. Oh god, Danica's riding right Ryan Newman. <laughs> <laughs> Danica can't stay off of me. Danica can't stay off the ground. That is so freaking funny. It's Danica too. But so yeah, Danica rided Newman. Literally, I'm not even making it up. <laughs> so I'm. Shit. How many people are pitting? Oh no. JJ Elaine. Don't, don't know. Don't know why. So I stayed out. I feel like I screwed myself, but... Oh, oh, by the way, I do... On, on, with this game, you really can't get, like, a good restart. I mean, if you're slow on a restart, even if you hit the, the gears properly, you're still slow. There's really nothing you can do. There's only two things. Type A and Type B. If that's it. That's all you got. So if it looks like I'm randomly slow on these restarts, that's not on purpose or anything. It's not really because I have a shit set up. It just, you, you only have two options. So I'm just going to get split in the middle here like a banana split sandwich. Oh, wait, that's an ice cream sandwich. Not not, 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 not like, <laughs> not chocolate vanilla put in a sand, like in, a, in bread. That's, damn, that's a really kinky fetish, actually. Anyways, regardless, I'm just going to... Try, man. They are. They're gonna wreck. They're gonna wreck. Holy shit, Gillen! That's the second time you slow up in front of me. This time was more obvious than the first one. JJ Yaley is fucking leading. Go JJ Yaley. He was an eighth on that restart too. How the fuck did he get to the lead? So, just gonna gain spots here. They're like five, eight. They're miles eight forty-three wide up there. It's pretty damn intense, you know. I fucking JJ Yaley wins. I'm gonna be so happy. So. Just gonna try to ride the outside line here. Bobby Labonte, don't slide up into me. They're all getting bunched up here. It's <laughs> good lord. It's so damn intense. So last lap I was like in 26 or something, and this one I'm in 23rd. So fuck it, gain two to three spots a lap is about what I would wouldn't mind to have. Oh god, please chase Elliot. Or okay, that works too. I was gonna slide up because I knew I was gonna hit him if I didn't do anything, but it didn't matter. So, all right, this is good. This is good. All right, get by Walter. Ooh, get by Hamlin too. Ooh, oh, shit, oh, Hamlin, don't shoot. All right, or Edwards, just give me the spot. You know, just let let that lane open for you. It, see, people are just letting me get by them. They just don't care. So, okay, Boyer's now leading. He should be in clean air, so I don't think he will get any. I think he could win this race if I don't have any shot. The way it looks now, you don't know. He could, or Vickers can take the lead while I'm in mid sense to prove me wrong. Okay, never mind. This race has just been like just lead swapping central. I don't think anybody's led more than like three laps or four. Larson just kiboshed the wall. Trevor Bain blocked me. That's really pretty damn ironic. 
coming from Trevor Bain, at least on the cup side, because the cup side, he's a joke. Or it's Roush's equipment. Oh, God. Regan Smith and Trevor Bain got together, and they saved it, because they're professionals. And I'm going to get stuck up here. I'm just going to let uh, Trevor Bain go so I can have the preferred line on the outside and duck up there for good. Sure. Man, this is like the third race, I think, that Brian Vickers has just been like either first or second. It's because of me. So maybe that means uh, I'll get second in this race or first. After Dover, that literally broke my heart. And ironically, after that, I was like gone for like a week. Which is funny. Mainly because I have a cold and stuff. But they are so bunched up here. I don't know where to go. I can go on the bottom, but they'll stop. Or I can go on the highs line and they'll stop. So you know what? I'm just gonna just let fate. Just gonna let them sort it out. Junior hit the wall. You know? Why not? You know? Why not? Brad block. Not really block me. I had a run and I should have slowed up, but I didn't. So oh well. I'm gonna let Brad go here. Come on, Brad. There you go. Slowed up just a wee bit there so I can have the outside line. This, again, this is like not what you want to do with Pocono. Like this is not the line you should probably run. But I'm just trying to get out of the AI's way. And Trevor Bain, the second time he did that, you son of a bitch. All right, let's try to get away from him so he doesn't wreck me. Brian Vickers continues to lead. He can win this race. I or he can win two in a row actually because he won the last race at uh, Dover and at Charlotte. Fucking Truex stopped. Oh well, he didn't really lose too much spots. Just one spot or two. Not not a big deal. I mean, a big deal for him. He probably was going to bust my ass later, but nothing where it's just like it screwed him out of the race forever. So we now have... Oh, Jesus Christ. That was close. That was really freaking close. I, I almost... I didn't expect him to get a run the outside lane like that. Holy shit. Sorry. Didn't mean to block you. All right. Like I was trying to say last lap. Um, yeah, I'm going to smack the wall. Yep, smack the wall. Um, like I said, this, um, the line I'm running at this track is probably not the one you should take, at least going into turn one. And Trix is going to wreck me, I guarantee it, because I bumped him. Rightfully so, but... Oh, God. Yep. Yep, he's pushing it. He's making it three wide, Daryl. I'm almost in the top ten. Please don't wreck me. I remember on inside line, Tony Stewart, like, wrecked me. Went in the corner in turn one, just completely dumped my shit. Don't want to have that happen again. Edwards is probably going to smack the wall. Yes, he does. Holy crap, man. It's just random. It's just like, it's just freaking intense. If I can get by freaking Biffle. Okay, never mind. I'm just going to get behind Biffle. Freaking Truex. Look at him go. He's just like, fuck you, what if. Um, Kyle Busch has to lead now. That's cute. Alright. We're going to soar by Truex. JJ Yaley in ninth, by the way. I was amazed he was leading there for a couple laps. If he was going to win this race, I was going to lose it. Because that would be funny. Again, Vickers, this is going to be like the third or fourth week now, or fourth race, per, per se. Oh, God, it's Geely. Fourth race now where Vickers is doing extraordinarily well. He can get a second win of the season and back-to-back, -to -back too. Damn. I guess the, the blood clots he's having, or he had, it made him become just amazing. I was gonna get, I was gonna pass Keselowski, but it's not a good idea to enter one that low, or at least a lane lower. So that's why I just tucked in behind them. Trying to think smart here. The field's finally broken up here in the top ten, so maybe I can get by them and get take the corners a little bit more aggressive or deep, or take them more aggressively, I suppose. Junior in seventh. All right, I can, I can live with that. So we're gonna take, go in the tunnel turn here. There we go. Finally got by him. Now, now this is the, the point of the race where I sh I'm going to try to haul ass and try to catch the leader. I swear to God, if I'm going to be like one corner short, that'll be the third time this season that's happened because it's happened at Atlanta and at Dover. And it really rustles, Rus I said rustles, rustles my jimmies. I can't stand that. It's so infuriating. But they are battling for the lead up there. I think there are three wide up there or two wide. I can't tell, but they're, they're going ham. I'm in seventh with two to go. All right, let's see what I can do. I'm really hoping I can at least win. That would be kind of nice. But they are in a bundle up here. Kind of fucked up turn one a little bit. I had to let off the gas a little bit. But nothing that destroyed my momentum. So it seems like that tunnel turn, oddly enough, I gained more of a run through there than any corner on this track. It's pretty weird. Oh, God, Larson. Oh, okay. Okay, that was a little bit. That was pretty freaking rough. But, um, got through the corner. Oh, God. I 
thought maybe I can like get in the corner a little bit deeper, I can get by him, but I think try and get by Larson. I think that's I think a top five is about all I'm gonna get. And it looks like if Vickers keeps going, he can win this. White flag's out. Three more corners for Vickers. I'm kind of curious if he can win two freaking weeks in a row. Kyle Busch is right there. Let's see what? Oh god. Oh god. Biffle. Why is it always Biffle? Ow. Fucking. I died. Oh god. Okay. I'm just gonna just stay on the outside line. I'm not even gonna block. Just just drive in my lane. If he makes a move, that's his choice. But the tunnel turns are my only opportunity for me to gain on him here, or anybody for that matter. Yep, pushed it way too hard. Just a classic case of driving it too hard. Oh well. I might have gotten the almond dinger, might not have, but oh well. Uh, I don't think I'll, I don't think I'll get by Boyer. My ass is fucked up. Eh. Or, or hit the wall. That helps too. Come on. Oh, oh eighth. Uh, I lost two spots, but I have a massive enough points lead as it is. Don't have to worry. Kyle Busch wins, which is ironic because in real life he's won like four of the last five, maybe five out of the last six. Who, who the fuck knows? But Kyle Busch is winning here too. Kyle Busch is winning everything, and it's annoying. God, it's so. It's like I see that. What? Vickers won. I'll have to check the replay. I thought Kyle Busch won. Um. I'm checking the race replay. I'm checking the race replay. That's really freaking bizarre. Okay, we're gonna go back here a little bit. Come on, camera. This is in real time, too. I'm not making it up. It just, it's just going in like... Wow, this is really bad. Alright. I'm 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 holding it. There we go. Finally got it to work. Oh! Oh, Vickers got a run off of four. That's why I thought Kyle Busch won it. I, Cause I I thought, yeah, you see that like those two little pixels up there. Um, Kyle, ooh, Vickers had a run off of three, and I guess just barely got by him. I think. All right, let's go to photo mode. Yep, this is intense. It's just like just add dramatic music. Dun 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 dun. And it's going at slow pace. Ooh, I can zoom in. Ooh, that's intense. Okay. Okay, that explains it. All right, that explains it. I, I, yeah, I was looking uh, at my track map, and Kyle had to lead in turn three, and I was like, oh, he's got it. But Vickers got to run off the corner and past him. Yes. Okay. I was wondering. I thought that was a glitch because this game doesn't surprise me. So that is amazing. So let's look at the final results here and see where everybody else finished. Junior doesn't get a top 10 or 11th. Alright, that's fine. Josh Wise, 16th. I'll take it. GAG Ely did end up leading a lap. Um, let's see. Anybody weird that finished way in the back? Kevin Harvick. Okay, that that's a, that's good. Matt Kenseth. Okay. Alright. Oh, right. um, Ryan Newman got last after riding Danica, which is pretty funny. What a weird race. Very weird race. So... There we go. Got eighth, solid top ten. That's a, really all I wanted. I probably, maybe, probably got at least fifth if I made turn two properly, but just drove it too hard. That's all, you know. Um, really, that's all I could say. I mean, drove a pretty solid race there. Really, no major, major incidences. Um, but yeah, it was a solid race. Nothing, honestly, really nothing to complain about. It was a solid race. So, my points lead now is even bigger. It is now 54 fucking points over Brad Keselowski. It's just getting massive. With Vickers now getting a second win, he is for sure locked in the chase now, no matter what. Vickers now with four top tens and two wins. And I think all of his top tens came in the last three weeks. Damn. Vickers is just on a roll. He is so going to be in the chase. Dale Jr. now moved up two spots, now he's in 15th. He may get to Biffle in 14th, but then after that's an 11-point gap from 13th. So Newman, after his really poor finish, got to fin is now 17th. Nothing, uh, let's see, Edwards lost two. Um, hmm. All right, so that was Pocono, that's the point standings. Next race will be at Michigan for race 15 to 36. All right, I'm game for it. Michigan's a fun track. I normally don't win, but I normally do 
do pretty well. So I'm hoping, I'm hoping I can have a clean, successful raise. Again, sorry for the delay. If you haven't seen my uh, update video, I was sick and everything for a couple days, and it was kind of rough. So I'm, I'm finally feeling better. Whenever you see this, uh, I might be at Pocono. I don't know when, but um, I'm looking forward to it. Free, free everything, pretty much free admittance. It's pretty freaking cool. I'm very humbled by. It. I can't believe that uh, my friend won those tickets, and I'm glad that everybody's uh, enjoying these and we're patient enough. So I hope you enjoy this long video. Um, because Pocono is a special race for me. Uh, it's my hometown track, and I always like having a longer race for it to make it stand out. So, hope the race was entertaining. Hope my commentary was entertaining. I felt a little bit rejuvenated because I, I haven't done these for like a week or so. Um, but again, sorry for the delay. I'm glad everybody's enjoying these. So, <laughs> thanks for watching, and I'll see you all in Michigan. And have a nice day, everyone.